So I'm Nick. Yeah. And so who likes pizza? Raise your hands. <laughs> Who's eating pizza today? Anybody today? Yesterday? Last week? <laughs> keep them up, keep them up. Last month? <laughs> so clearly pizza is something that we in the US eat a lot of. So we decided to compare two pizzas. And Darren's gonna take over from there. <laughs> so, um, our two pizzas, we, did, we just decided to do frozen pizzas. Um, the first one is Frusciato, which is like a pretty um, mass-produced, huge company. I'll get into the Schwann's owns of them, and they're, I think, one of the top uh, Fortune 200 companies, so they're huge. Um, and our second pizza is American Flatbread, which started up in Vermont. They have a, in Waitsfield is the production facility of all the pizzas. Um, they have a West Coast operation now too, which searches the West Coast, but all these coasts are um, from Vermont. Um, and Nick got this quote from uh, Adam on phone too, food tends to remember where it comes from. Um, you'll see the difference in sort of food philosophy as we go through this. Um, the Schwann Food Company is a multi-billion dollar private company with approximately 22,000 employees worldwide. Based out of Marshall, Minnesota, the company sells fine frozen foods <coughs> on its traditional delivery trucks, in grocery store freezers, online, in the food service industry. Through the operations of its business units, Schwamm products have a solid presence in roughly 50 countries. Um, we at the Schwann Food Company strive to enrich the lives of our customers by providing convenient and delicious foods suited for all occasions, which it really was, you know? Rip it out, you know, rip it out of the cardboard box, tear the plastic, and you throw it in the oven, and then 10 minutes, you got a pizza. Well, I, I made some phone calls uh, the other day, and I, uh, the women I spoke to were, were very friendly. Like, they, you know, I could speak to them very, you know, very freely, comfortably. So, I mean, they have some kind of motto where they, where they try to respect their consumers. Um, they didn't really know that much, and they said they'd get back to me. So I gave them my email address, my phone number, um, and I'm just waiting, I guess. It hasn't been that long, so we'll see what happens. Um, a lot of their production is trade secrets, so they couldn't really say that stuff. But uh, that's how it went. Yeah, and a lot of one of the biggest problems is they're so big and they have so many inputs that the people that might have been able to tell something didn't know, and the people that actually knew couldn't. Um, so it's sort of a dead end, everybody wanted. Um, and then flatbread, this is all like, they don't try to hide, I don't wonder about it all. Um, the nature of the bread we eat from the way the grain is grown and harvested, milled, mixed and baked, how it is administered and policed, from how it is hoarded or shared to whether it's production in riches or enslaves, will shape our own nature and the destiny of our culture. Um, and then they talk a little bit about um, being responsible for food and food they buy and the food they sell. Um, and I just thought it was interesting that they put so much effort into um, sort of conscientious on some level. Um, that's sort of, it's, sort of, it's like a niche, a niche market for them, so they actually like take advantage of the fact that people like, desire this like quality organic food. Um, but it's sort of a model for something better, maybe maybe be model. This is uh, from the Schwann employee handbook, which is quite interesting. Um, this is the only place where I saw environment on any, anything. Um, and it's committed to conduct its business in an environmentally conscientious manner. It is socially responsible, scientifically based, and economically sound. And I thought it was interesting that they needed to put in their employee handbook that it was their policy to abide by environmental laws and regulations. Um, I don't, that doesn't like, convey any uh, message to me of care or um, <laughs> any care at all that they have to like, stress the fact that they follow the regulations as if that's sort of like some benchmark for quality. Um, um, and this is some fun facts um, according to Schwann, that is their um, description. Um, <laughs> they operate 7,000 long haul and local delivery <laughs> trucks, the largest privately owned fleet. Um, oh my God. 94,000 milk cows are being supplied. Uh, 5 billion pounds of milk is plant seeds each year. Um, 
the, the top two are just the, the entire company. The, the last one is only the Kushet Pizza line. That, that the plant in Kentucky is the only one that makes pizzas. And it's, it's 40,000 cows one day to use cheese at the Florence Kentucky plant uses in a week. Um, seven and four is like four, five, something. Throughout this fact sheet, they were, they were kind of making it so we the consumer could understand like how big this operation is by like giving certain distances of, you know, by, if you added up the amount of, you know, amount of fleets, uh, there would be 30 times around the world. I mean, that's... And they, that's own, the, they own the largest frozen pizza plant in the world. Cool. Um, it makes like Tony's and Red Baron. Um, but that's the Fruchetta one is made in other places. Um, and this is the sort of the, the path of American flatbread ingredients. Yeah. Um, to get into that. Yeah, go for it. So I made a phone call to them uh, about a week ago and uh, spoke to this guy, Paul, who was a, had been working there for some years and uh, kind of just gave me the run through of, of their, uh, their pizza. Um, they use whole wheat and uh, they gave me the uh, company's name and it's from it's Dakota Prairie Mills and that's from North Dakota. Uh, I tried to speak with a worker there and I couldn't really get much out of them, so they make everything by hand. Um, they assemble the pizzas by hand. It's like a family operation. There's like one like, room that they do it in. Um, they hand cut the wood. They use Vermont hardwood. They have this earthen stove. The stove is really cool. It's like all made with local, local things from Vermont. Everything the stove is from Vermont, based on um, old like Quebec in uh, bread ovens. Um, and this is sort of the last one. You know, there's only a $1 difference between the two pizzas. Um, that you should buy them right. And is it worth, you know, is it worth saving that dollar to support everything that the stands for? Is it worth spending an extra dollar to support a small corporation that um, has some value in their business model?